best clothing pieces you can find at Uniqlo right now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share a review of some new favourites from Uniqlo and then also talk about some of my old favourites and whether I still recommend them or not. This is an edit of what I consider to be the very best pieces at Uniqlo right now. So in today's video, I wanted it to be very styling heavy, showing you how I take some of these simple pieces and style them into an outfit that feels elevated. So there'll be tons of styling ideas for these pieces, whether you want to imagine how they might look in an outfit or just to give you some general wardrobe inspiration using basics you already own. I do tons of filtering through things I feel like are outdated, very boring or just bad quality to find these pieces that's actually good. So let's just jump straight in. I will have all the product names, um, size I took, sizing recommendation in the description box down below if you want to refer to anything throughout today's video. I think I'll talk about some of my newer favorites before I go back to um, tried and tested old favorites. These are some wide leg denim trousers. It reminds me a lot of this wide leg trouser, but this one is obviously much more polished for work or for a more elevated outfit. And then we've got the denim version now, which looks very chic and casual when styled. What I like about this trouser is that it's very, very comfortable. It's much more comfortable than your regular jean because you've got this elasticated panel at the back. It's very loose through the leg. And to make things even better, it's a cotton lyosol blend. I think the lyosol gives it a silent lighter, more draped feeling and look. And I also find that to be quite flattering. With a lot of these very wide leg jeans, if they're made from 100% cotton, they are usually very structured. So it looks a little bit more statement. Whereas because we've got the lyocell here, I think it makes it look a little bit more wearable, casual, undone and effortless. Sizing wise for my Uniqlo trousers, I pretty much always go down a size. So I went for these in the extra small. They fit me well, I would say slightly on the looser side. And I'm usually between like an extra small small or about a 26 for jeans. Length wise, I haven't had these shortened. So you might know that Uniqlo does a free shortening when you purchase their pants in store. But I actually feel like these are a decent length, especially if I want to wear them with boots, which I probably will wear them with most of the time. So I'm happy with this full length for now. As you will have seen in the clips, one of my favorite ways to wear this pant will be with a very fitted top. So I'm actually wearing an exercise top I own from Lululemon. And the reason I like this one is because it's very form fitting. And you know, it's that exercise material that really like holds you in. So I find it very nice to play up the proportions with very fitted top and these looser trousers. The kind of knits that I will wear of this jean are knits that are not too oversized. So I have this navy knit from Cezanne that fits me extremely well. It's not too long, it's not too boxy. And I think that this knit goes really well with these jeans. Since they're already wider, I don't want to do anything too bulky on top. I've also paired it here with a little scarf. I think it's a nice accent, but also it's more of a dainty scarf that balances out these wide leg trousers. I've been seeing a lot of photos where it's still snowing in different places around the world, but if you were getting into spring weather, I would pair it with something like a mini or baby tee that is just a little bit more fitted as opposed to oversized. And then I'll do a crop cardigan like my Betty cardigan to bring it all together. So this t-shirt here is also from Uniqlo. It's a full Uniqlo base look and I've got on my navy cardigan. I said before these jeans really remind me of their wide leg trousers and you can really see the similarities. They've got the same wide leg shape, they've got the same pleats. They are more or less exactly the same length but if you like this pant and it works for you, you'll find that this one fits in a similar way. If you've seen in my past Uniqlo videos, I've been talking about and wearing these pants for about a year now. They're super easy to care for, easy to wash. I don't hand wash these, I put them straight in the machine and they come out looking perfect. I especially recommend this in the light colors because they're very opaque, they're not sheer. And then when you get a stain on them, which happens with white and cream trousers, I just throw them straight in the wash so they're very easy to care for. Whereas if it was like a wool trouser in cream, it would kind of be a very stressful pant for me. These are definitely a pant that I recommend for any workwear wardrobe. They've got a tiny amount of stretch, so as I'm sitting at my desk or sitting down, they're very comfortable. They're also very wrinkle resistant, so even if you have a meeting at the end of the day, they will still look as good as they did when you left the house. And that to me is a really important part of pants for work. I want them to look good throughout the whole day. By far, the pieces I get the best cost per wear from are their t-shirts. And over the years, there has been a switch between the kind of t-shirts that I like from Uniqlo. In the past, I used to really love the Uniqlo U t-shirts because they are made from the softest, smoothest cotton and they're also a really thick material. But in terms of style and fit, I've really come to prefer their more baby mini t-shirts. One of my favorites I shared last year that I've been wearing constantly are these rib t-shirts. 
So I size up in these to a size small. I'm actually wearing one inside now, and I often wear these as layering pieces. Inside sweaters, inside cardigans, by themselves in the really hot summer. They're very, very comfortable, and they just have a great, very flattering shape. This t-shirt has a little bit of elastane in it, so I find that that means the t-shirt holds its shape really well, and of course, it just kind of hugs the body a little bit more with this fabric. Another t-shirt I really love are these mini t-shirts. So these are meant to be 90s inspired t-shirts, and I love how these feel. So smooth, so incredibly soft. This one is 96% cotton, 4% elastane. So again, it's got a little stretch to it. It's a really weird thing to say, but I really like the neckline of this t-shirt and how it fits. It's very form-fitting, it's not too scooped. And I also like that the ribbing feels quite defined, which is just a little detailed t-shirt so I really like. It's called a mini, but as you can see, I wouldn't really say it's that mini on my height. It almost fits as a full-length t-shirt should, and it kind of hits my hip bone. I was not sure about this color at all but I just kept looking at it I was really drawn to it so after like a few visits to Uniqlo I decided to go for it it's not really a pastel yellow in my opinion it's kind of between pastel and neon I'll put the color name of this t-shirt down below definitely available in stores in Sydney but depending on where you are in the world um, the stock might be a little different. Some other colors I really like in this t-shirt is the deep green. I think this one is super versatile and you can match it with tons of things in a wardrobe. I also surprisingly quite like the pink because it's more of a medium pink and this is probably one of my favorite shades. I can say it with green, I can say it with brown and just lots of color combinations from this piece. If you're willing to add color to your wardrobe, I feel like t-shirts are a really great place because not only can you wear it alone, you can wear it layered inside different cardigans, you can wear it in a way where only the neckline shows through and of course it's less of an investment if that color doesn't work out for you because you can always wear it around the house casually and it's a great way to test the color if you've been thinking about it. If you'd like to see me put together more color combinations, check out my Instagram where I'm sharing tons of reels like this one where I just give you tons of color combinations to try and get started with in your wardrobe. I don't wear tons of long sleeve t-shirts, but I reviewed this one in my video, I think around November last year. When I'm looking for basics, it's really all about those tiny, tiny details. I really like the rib pattern of this one. It creates a slightly more interesting base layer for me to layer on top of. The neckline also fits well. You might notice um, in my style, I tend to not like very low necklines. I also don't really like turtlenecks. So this mock neck is a really nice medium. I specifically want to mention this color. It's kind of like a gray lilac taupe kind of shade, but it's one of those neutrals that has a lot of depth to it. And I love the way that it pairs with maybe like a brighter pop of red or a pop of color. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm styling this pair of cream cotton Uniqlo pants I have. So this is pretty much a full Uniqlo look, but I feel like it looks very, very elevated. This is the kind of outfit where I feel like by wearing the Uniqlo pieces together and then putting in a few of your favorite accessories, you can really come up with something very, very chic with clothing pieces that are fairly simple. When I go around Uniqlo, some of the best things they do are just classic pieces made from cotton. I saw that they do really well across you know, different lines are their cargo pants. I've tried a few different styles from them and every single style I've tried so far, I've really liked. I'm gonna start with a newer pair I haven't reviewed yet and then we'll get into some old favorites. This cargo pant here is the newest style they've launched and the most distinctive thing about this is that it cinches in right at the bottom. So it creates a slightly balloon-shaped leg. Now this is definitely like a love or hate thing, but I really, really like when pants taper back in at the bottom. I think there is something about being petite where I like things to cinch in, whether that be at the waist, at the ankle, at the wrist. I like to have those definition points wherever I can. And it also helps balance out the fact that I really like a little bit of volume. So when it cinches back in, it makes it easier to wear. So all of that to say, I really like the fact that you can cinch this pant in. You can adjust the bottom with this drawstring so it doesn't have that cinched in balloon shape. But to be honest, that's a big part of why I like this pant. For the rest of the pant, as you can see through the try-on clips, it's pretty wide and relax through the leg. There's quite a bit of volume on the leg. We've got elastic on the waist and then we've still got the button with the zip. What I really like about the waistband is that the design feels so smart. Not only do you have the elastic, you also have a drawstring on the inside to kind of tighten it a little bit more. If you're kind of in between sizes, you fluctuate a bit between two different sizes, you can definitely go for the bigger size here and then just adjust it when you need to with 
this drawstring. So it just feels very practical. This one is 73% cotton, 27% nylon. So cotton and nylon blend, but I do love the way that that makes the fabric look and feel. The reason why I wanted to test out this style is because it immediately reminded me of some tibby pants that I own. The tibby pants I own, they kind of cinch in slightly at the bottom. They've got the elastic waist, the effortless look. And this is of course a much more affordable droop of that style. Final thing to mention is color. I usually, and you may have noticed this in my wardrobe, I'm not a huge fan of this kind of khaki tan shade. But there is something about this one where it's a little bit brighter. I think it leans a little bit more yellow that made me more drawn to this shade. Otherwise, I probably would have just gone for the navy or the white. But the color of this, I actually really liked. In terms of styling these pants, I really love the way this cotton nylon texture looks with knitwear. It just makes the knitwear pieces feel a little bit more modern, especially with the shape um, as well. And then I also think that this color goes really well with brighter shades like red. I think red and this khaki look really, really nice together. With this balloon leg, I find that it doesn't lay well with any kind of boots because then you've just got too much bulk at that bottom area. So instead, I would just wear loafers, sandals, um, basically anything that's not a boot. And then very quickly, I want to give an update of my other two pairs of cotton trousers from Uniqlo. This one here is the cargo style. I mentioned in a video last year when I got them that I absolutely love these pants. I think that these are very durable pants. They're not pants that you know you just put in the wash a few times and it loses its shape. Cotton pants are generally things that hold up extremely well in my wardrobe and this has been no exception. If you're interested in a cotton cargo pant without the nylon, this is definitely a style I would recommend and it's got more of a straight leg as opposed to the balloon shape. These pants here are cotton trousers I purchased in store last year and I don't feel like I've been really able to find them online sadly but I also really love the shape of these because they are slightly more wide-legged and I also got these shortened so they're more cropped. These are 100% cotton and whenever I just want a simple pants to be really comfortable in, I go for these especially if I want slightly more structure, more of a wide leg shape in my outfit. If you come across any 100% cotton wide leg pant at Uniqlo, I've tested a few now and I think they all tend to hold up quite well. With a lot of Uniqlo's other trousers, whether they're made from rayon or acetate or even just like polyester, a lot of these, and I'll put up a few examples on the screen, they tend to not fit me as well. The design is not as modern, so they sometimes feel a bit outdated on me. Sometimes it doesn't fit and drape as well as I want it to, but I haven't had as much luck with these styles, whereas the cotton ones, definitely recommend. I often talk about in my Uniqlo videos how I'm not the biggest fan of Uniqlo knitwear, especially ones in their lambswool range, which is kind of majority of their more affordable knitwear collection. I do like their cashmere pieces, but they're a little bit more expensive. And then with their extra fine merino, I like it, but they've also updated their fit. So I like it a little bit less than I used to as things just fit a little bit too long on me now and I don't really have the option of sizing down. So I've been thinking about what is an alternative to knitwear that will keep you very toasty and warm but will hopefully hold up better than my experiences with Uniqlo lambswool knitwear. And I found this. This is one of their fleece t-shirt pieces. This is fairly affordable in Uniqlo's line. It's probably cheaper than most of their knitwear items. But the thing about fleece is that it's a very practical layering piece in winter. It will keep you very warm like knitwear would especially if you lay a heat tech under this. And it's very soft and cozy, but I don't think you're gonna have the same issues with peeling that you're gonna get with the Lambswool collection. I chose this in the beige color. It's got a bit of like a mild fabric to it and it makes it feel a little bit more elevated when you look up close. It's super oversized in shape, so I would say that if you can size down, size down. Every time I'm going somewhere that actually has a proper winter, it's actually cold and snowy. One of the things I will always pack with me is fleece because it's such a practical fabric that just traps the heat in and it's always a piece I like to layer with. So if you're looking for affordable fleece, something very comfortable to wear at home and out, I think that this is a very good option. I do especially like this color combination, so I will put down the color code down below if you'd like to check it out. When you're styling your Uniqlo pieces, because they are very plain and basically any piece can work for any personal style, what you want to do is to make sure your personal style comes through in your accessory choices. So for me, this kind of means a little bit of color, 
through my jewelry and then through my scarf. It means playing up the proportions to make the outfit interesting, going for the small belt alongside the bigger oversized shapes. And it's really these little accents that give the clothing a little perspective and makes it feel more stylish. Let me wrap up today's video with just a few more updates on how older pieces are wearing. As you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, I brought my ultra light down with me when I was traveling um, in Germany in December. And I wore the ultra light down inside like a shell jacket and it did keep me very, very warm, especially when I had my heat tech inside as well. The temperature was pretty mild, so it was always like around zero, never very cold. When I packed, I brought with me the shorter version and I also brought with me the longer navy version. So both of these I love traveling with because they're so compact. You can get these to fit in the smallest bags and it makes it so easy to travel with if you wanted to bring one or even two. I would say the cons with these pieces is that they're not the most chic, right? I wouldn't say I feel incredibly stylish in one of these, but I use them more as layering pieces and inside my coat or outerwear. Something I want to mention is that with the navy color, because it's a darker color, it looks more opaque. Whereas with the cream color, you can actually, if you hold it up to the window or the light, see the padding on the inside. So this fabric on the outside is actually a little bit sheer. This is the downside and I wish they used something slightly more opaque. Obviously when you're wearing it, you're not going to be holding it up to the light, but that's something I want to mention for you to know. For those of you in the Southern Hemisphere or you're going into spring and starting to warm up, one of my favorite pieces that I've spoken about a few times before are these cami top with the bra padding inserts included. These are so easy to wear in the summer, you just pop them on and go. And especially if you don't need a lot of support, these are so great and so easy to wear. Like the t-shirts, these are probably two of my most worn pieces. And then I will also layer cardigans on top of this because I think it looks very seamless and neat. It's also more on the crop side, so there's not too much tucking to do. These are very easy pieces, but any of Uniqlo's camisoles or tops with the bra included, I think is just really wonderful if you don't need a lot of support. And the final piece to talk about today is the oldest piece from Uniqlo that I own. I've had this for uh, seven, eight years. Long, long time. Cotton blouse. I wear this one every single summer. Super easy and it's still honestly in, in perfect condition. So any of Uniqlo's cotton pieces, for example, this broidery top, I think lasts extremely well. And with cotton pieces, there's not that many areas where you can go very wrong. So sometimes I feel like it's not really worth splurging on these too much, especially if you're just looking for something with simple design. That is my edit of the best Uniqlo pieces and what I would recommend in stores right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please do go like this video. Consider subscribing to my channel where I post weekly videos. I'm also on Instagram sharing tons of different style tips and I'll love to see you there as well. Have a lovely week and I will see you next one. Bye!